This is SSP TV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. A new era of care, a look at Lehigh Valley Health Network Hazelton's state-of-the-art emergency department next. Happy Friday, tis the weekend before Christmas and Hanukkah starts this Sunday, so I hope you're all enjoying the season. I'm Ken Kara. I thank you for your time and here's your information from SSP TV and the Hazelton Standard Speaker. A ribbon cutting and grand opening was held today for Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazelton's newly expanded emergency department. 30 beds are now available for treatment in the ER, an increase from the original 18 bed space. Huge day for Hazelton. Um, this is a day that uh, we opened the five behavioral health beds, uh, ability to expand, uh, new treatment rooms. We talked about earlier that we were going to double the size of the emergency department. And uh, the first phase didn't really do much to increase the size because we had to close the existing and renovate it. So now here we are today. We, uh, we opened the uh, new expanded ED about a month ago, a month and a half ago, and here we are today. Uh, we renovated second phase of the renovations, a new uh, CT scanner, state-of-the-art CT, CT scanner in the emergency department. It's a huge day for Hazleton, for Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton, and for our community, and we're just so proud. It's a really, really exciting day. I'm a little biased as an ER doc, uh, but uh, one of the very first relationships that I was immersed in here uh, was uh, about 15 years ago, and that was with Hazleton. Uh, this was our number one referring uh, 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 community at Lehigh Valley Hospital in Allentown. Almost a thousand ambulances, uh, uh, helicopter visits, uh, people coming downtown. Town. We knew that we should do serve, make services available right here backyard so people wouldn't have to uh, travel. And part of that was uh, growing a relationship in emergency medicine. And today it's blossomed into this doubling the size of the ER and having committed beds for behavioral health and, and mental illness. Uh, it's, it's just fantastic. This new emergency department or ER is truly an example of the commitment that we have made to be a partner in your health care. At Lehigh Valley Health Network, you now have 19,000 health care partners working alongside of you and working collaboratively to deliver convenient access to care, to deliver a top-notch health care experience, and to deliver health care value. You can take a tour of the newly expanded ER on a brand new Sam Lasancho that is on Monday at 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. or you can watch anytime at ssptv.com. In addition to an expanded ER, the entire Lehigh Valley Health Network has expanded. Coordinated Health is now officially a part of LVHN. So as of uh, last evening, um, uh, we have uh, completed the acquisition of Coordinated Health. So now we are, uh, Coordinated Health is part of the LVHN family. Um, it's uh, 1,200 or so uh, colleagues, new employees that we welcome into the network. Almost 100 physicians, uh, uh, short stay hospitals for orthopedic care, surgical care, uh, and a lot of other outposts. I think what it'll do is make care more convenient for those seeking LVHN care. And in addition, certainly we have an opportunity here in Hazleton with their coordinated facility and we're still trying to think through the strategy on how best to utilize that to give great access to this community. LVHN's president and CEO Brian Nestor emphasized that patients will continue to see the same coordinated health physicians and care teams in the same locations. Next week, we will be deep into the holiday season, and thanks to the generosity of the LaSant family, SSP TV News will be on hiatus for one week, December 23rd through the 27th, so that we can enjoy the Christmas holiday with family and friends. In its place, enjoy special programming, including a new out-of-left-field holiday special, part two of the girls' holiday special, featuring the Cellar Dwellers on Tuesday. They're part of our special holiday programming all day, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. New out-of-left-field is on Monday. Check your TV listings for complete schedule of SSP TV programs or stream anytime at ssptv.com. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. 
Things are going to heat up for the holiday season. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service. Tonight will be cold. Increasing clouds will have a low of 15 degrees. Saturday, we get up almost to 30, high of 29 degrees, partly sunny. At night, mostly clear with a low of 20 degrees. Sunday, we're up to 40 degrees with sunny skies, partly cloudy, low of 27 at night. Sunny on Monday with highs in the mid 40s, mostly clear at night with a low of 29. And then on Tuesday, mostly sunny, high of 42. Tuesday night will have a low of 29 degrees. Emma Kaczynski, Emma Kaczynski. I'm saying her name twice because she's just got her fifth double double of the season in six games. Here's the SSP TV standard speaker scoreboard. Kaczynski had 28 points and 17 rebounds in a win over Pottsville in a Skooka League Division I game. Oh, yeah, Tamaqua is 6 0 this season. Emily Titus scored 15 points and had nine rebounds for the Lady Raiders. It was another win for a young North Schuylkill team as they beat Lee Heighton in the Schuylkill League Division I game. Freshman Cameron Mangle had 17 points for the Lady Spartans and Maya Wetzel had 14. In Schuylkill League Division III girls basketball, Monoy area beat Weatherly. Claudia Clark and Jordan Carmonic both had 16 points for the Lady Bears. Marion lost a non-league game to Wyoming Seminary. Macy Alansky had 11 points. The Hazleton area girls were scheduled to play Harrisburg tomorrow, but that game has been canceled. Harrisburg told Hazleton area's athletic director Fred Barletta they overbooked their schedule. Barletta tells the standard speaker the school is trying to find a new date and a new opponent. In boys basketball, Monoy area came back to beat Weatherly in a school league division three game. Josh Ramos had 18 points for Monoy area. Nativity beat Shenandoah Valley in a school league division three game and Lee Hotley Heighton topped North Schuylkill in a Division I game. Blue Mountain swept North Schuylkill in swimming. For the boys, Brian Everett won the 100 freestyle for North Schuylkill. The sports cast today includes Joe Madden, Bernie Williams, David Ross, and the man, the myth, the Marchetti. Ron Marchetti has short shots as always. And next, we stop by Christmas in Cunningham for that celebration. And hey, we have a special holiday song sung by our SSP TV staff. You can check that out on our Facebook page. We'll be right back. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. There will be a Christmas open house tomorrow from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. at St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church in Hazleton. For more information, you can call the church at 570-459-6423. And the American Red Cross has a few blood donation opportunities in our area, and they are currently listed on your screen. For more information, you can log on to redcrossblood.org. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SBTV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Carmela Aiello of Hazleton. Services will be private under the Joseph B. Conahan Funeral Home. Jody A. Hauser of Hazleton. Funeral will be Monday at 1 p.m. at the Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home. Friends may call Monday from 12 noon until 1 p.m. at the Funeral Home. Raymond S. Orth of West Hazleton. A funeral service will be held on Saturday at 6 p.m. at the Butler Chapel of the Crofton Hughes Funeral Home. Friends may call on Saturday from 5 to 6 p.m at the funeral home. Michael Pasork of Zion Grove. Services will be held at the convenience of the family under the Orovitz Funeral Home in Shenandoah. And Michael Rico of Hazleton. Mass will be Monday at 10 a.m. at St. Gabriel's Church. Friends may call Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. and on Monday from 9 until 9.45 a.m. at the Boyle Funeral Home. Today's social obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.